What's going on everyone? Welcome back to T3G. My name is Dalibor and today we're going to be talking about the Tizumi, Tumi? I don't really know how to pronounce it. The, this rechargeable mouse and mouse pad. Coming up. Now it comes with the mouse itself, which is pretty cheap. It's pretty plasticky, not too exciting. It's got an on off switch. It's got the plastic uh, little wireless receiver. It's kind of in there. Like you really gotta have some nails to get it out of there. It's all pretty cheap feeling overall. Uh, this was actually at Walmart. It was one of those like Christmas holiday gift boxes. Uh, oddly enough, not branded as Tizumi or Tumi or whatever. Uh, it was branded as like their, it was just like generic rechargeable mouse. Uh, it was about 15 bucks if memory serves, maybe even 10. Um, and really this is all there is to it. It comes with a, a, a micro USB cable. I'm using my own. I'm not actually sure if I know where the original one is. Uh, let's see, do we have a port here? Do we have a port? We do have a port. Now, normally she uses this Logitech, uh, one of those kind of standard M325s. Um, she's been had that for, she's been have, she's had that for a long time. This wouldn't be something I'd actually give her. This would be more for me because it has the mouse pad and it's wirelessly charging. So if it's something where I can leave my computer set up where I'm somewhere, I don't have to worry about it losing charge. Now, this part on the side here actually moves. This is the charging pad itself. It has a little, a little kick out stand and that's for if you wanna connect a phone to it. So you can still use this for, I don't know what, honestly, cause it's not Bluetooth, so you're not gonna use it with the phone, but you could put a phone on this and then just use it as a kickstand, I guess. I don't know, it's it's a weird feature. I'm not, not 100% sure why it's there. That's really what it had on the packaging is it had a phone on here and I, I guess a notepad or something. I don't know, I, I don't know. I really don't know what that part's for, but the charging port is right on top of that. It is upside down, but when you plug it in and then you turn on your device, which seems to be dead because it's not plugged in. All right, now that we're plugged in, we can power on. You'll see you'll have red and green and it basically it's looking for a connection and then it's gonna stay red. Now, when you drop the, uh, the mouse on there, it switches to green and the mouse actually has a little a light on it. When you take it off the light, the light switches to red and the mouse light disappears. Put it back on, mouse light turns on. It's really hard to show that. There it is, um, you take it off, no light. The pad itself is kind of a, it's like a fake leather, you know, it's meant to have a leather kind of feel, but it's definitely not leather. Let's see, so we have it plugged in for charging. Something like this, this is a HP stream, so it's not, really fully packaged with a lot of ports. Do you see my point here? Really gotta kind of know the way to get it. So we'll plug this bad boy in. It is a low profile plug, so you can leave it plugged in, which is nice. It's an HP stream, it's taken a moment to, uh, oh, it's not on. Well, that's, that's silly of me. Uh, no, it's already plugged in. <laughs> that's silly of me. So no lights on it while it's actually in use. Uh, there is a light here, which I imagine is the actual charging light. It just, it's so bright that it, it gets underneath the track, track wheel, track wheel. I don't know what I was going to say. And then there is a, a laser light on the bottom. So it is not a clear laser or blue laser, whatever they call it. But it, it tracks pretty well on this. Let's see, it tracks pretty well on the fabric. So, I mean, I'd say this is probably useful outside of this whole configuration. But the nice thing is that like, you know, when you're done, you're like, all right, cool, I'm gonna go. And you just do that and then you walk away and then you don't have to worry about if it's gonna have a charge because it's charging. Like I'm not concerned if I'm gonna come back and I need to use the mouse and then nope, I'm stuck with the trackpad. And I don't know if you've been a fan of this channel for a while, you know, I hate trackpads. <laughs> now, the other kind of interesting feature is that it does have I wonder if I can get this focused. It does have a DPI button, and that's a very interesting thing. So I'll try to show, I'll try to demo here. So this is the, th the I imagine three, I think it's three. So same, same amount of movement. So I'll be doing this, just a, a wrist flick. Like a flick, a flick, look at the flick of that wrist. I don't even know what that means. I don't know what it's from. So yeah, there, it looks like it's three. So this is the slowest. So let's see if I go. It's a pretty, it's a pretty strong. Like, it's a lot of movement. 
to get across. So let's see from here. It's less. Yeah, this this is like an inch of movement. If that, that is like four to six inches of movement. This is probably two. Yeah, so it's three settings. And overall, it does a pretty good job. I mean, it's it's a mouse. <laughs> it's a mouse. So comparatively to the M325, it's about... Well, so comparatively to the M325, it's about the same size. It is a little less ergonomic. It does not have that kind of nice hump that these do. Uh, but otherwise, it actually does have little grooves on the side, like your thumb is gonna rest there. Same thing on the left, it's... it's uh, What's the word I'm looking for? It's ambidextrous, uh, it can be used from both sides. It can be used by people who are right or left-handed, which is a way better statement, I guess, for that. Yeah, it's got the, the DPI button, it's got the scroll wheel, solid, solid click on that, solid click on the buttons. You've got a charging port on the front of this as well, actually. Right, you got a charging port on the front of that as well. Um, so if you lose this or if, it's, if the pad is damaged, you could still you could still actually use it. So that's all I've got to say about this. Honestly, I was gonna scrap this video. I was gonna call it a day. There wasn't gonna be a video out today, and uh, we we're just gonna do do one next week. Reason being is I cannot find this set anywhere. I looked on Amazon, I looked on Walmart, I looked on Tazumi's website, I looked on Gearbest. This exact set doesn't exist. So it might have been just something that was unique for the holidays for Walmart, kind of a custom setup. But I did find other products that are similar. Tazumi has what looks to be the same thing, but it looks like it comes with a different style white mouse. So it looks like it might be a little less comfortable, but I really can't speak on it. I haven't, I haven't seen it, felt it, touched it. Amazon has several different varieties of it. They all seem to be geared towards using the charging pad as your cell phone charger. Now that I feel can get dicey because I don't trust most third party key chargers. I just don't. I, I feel like there's a lot of room for error. I've had issues with underpowered cheap chargers. And yeah, no, if it's not just a charger, I really wouldn't put your expensive phone on that. I've got a little like modded LG G3 with a wireless charging back. But if you have a iPhone XS or whatever that's wireless charging, maybe you maybe you skip charging your phone with it I, like i said I, I think it's billed as that but i wouldn't trust it personally you do what you gotta do for your life <laughs> uh, that's gonna be it for this one i got links below to some comparable items in like a lower price range i'm not trying to I'm not trying to like compare this to something that's $50. I'm sure the, the feel, the look, everything is gonna be different, but something in the lower, like under 20 budget, uh, I've got a couple links down below. If you're new to the channel, make sure you like, subscribe, all the good stuff. Comment down below what you think about using something like this. It feels a bit cumbersome, but I don't know. I feel like maybe if you're in one place for a long time, it could be useful. Let me know what you think down below. Thanks for watching. We'll see you in the next one.